Who knows? Maybe that means. Who knows? Okay, here you say, Mr. My partner here, Tricky Bridge, is saying, hey, you're doing great. I know it's a lot. Now it's time to practice bidding in the proper order. So apparently, you know, there's some certain kind of order you need to do a little etiquette. Okay. In real bridge, we can't discuss what to bid. So in other words, it can't be a discussion between myself and Tricky Bot on what they should bid and what Tricky Bot telling me what I should bid. We're supposed to be quiet during this period of time and just bid what we have in our hand and then hope our partner has something to support. Instead, each player makes a bid for their team going around clockwise. So if I bid, then West will bid, then my partner Tricky Bot, North will bid, then East will bid. When it's my turn, I bid for our team. Yeah, our team. When it's your turn, oh, I oh, was the, the opposite way, I'm sorry. When it's my turn, which Tricky Bot says my turn, I bid for our team. When it's your turn, that's me down here, I bid for our team. So, you know, we're bidding for our each, well, we're bidding for our team. So we have to take in consideration when we're bidding what our partner may or may not have. Ah, sometimes it's a guess. The bidding is an auction. You must bid higher than the last bid or pass. And as we learned from past lessons, <laughs> past lessons, how cute, a little pun there, is that when you're, when you say pass, that means you're not going to make a bid. So we'll keep going around the table clockwise. Okay, around the table, high, uh, bidding higher, excuse me, or passing. Okay, so in other words, bidding or not bidding. And if we do bid, we have to go higher than the last person. Until nobody wants to bid any higher. Yeah, sooner or later it gets to that point. The bidding ends if any bid is followed by three passes. So if someone makes a bid, let's say, just for instance, because we see a lot of diamonds down here, let's say um, uh, South says two diamonds and West says pass, then North says pass, and East says pass. Well, that's three passes in a row, okay? And that means the bidding ends. If the bidding begins with four passes in a row, one, two, three, four, then we reshuffle and redeal. Redeal. <laughs> yeah, redeal. We shuffle and redeal the cards. Okay. And again, only the highest bid matters. The others are thrown out. So what they're basically saying is we could be making a bid going around the clock here. And at the very end, someone bids, and then they do three passes, one, two, three, like as we said, with the, if they did two diamonds, they went one, two, three. Even though other people have bid, all their bids will disappear, and the only one that would remain is that last high bid, which I said two diamonds, and you see two diamonds reflected. You will soon see. The highest bid is called the contract, and the team that bid will be on the offense. Uh, so whoever wins the highest bid, like I said, here have two diamonds. That's a contract to win, as we've been talking about before. There's such a thing called book, which is the first six tricks. And when you bid, like he said, two diamonds, you're really saying two times six equals eight. So eight tricks. And we're making a contract saying, hey, we can get eight tricks. And the team that bid it will be on the offense. Yes, we're on the offense, all right? West will be the first to bid on this deal. Okay, so West is the dealer, and they're going to go ahead and bid first. Let's see what they do. They pass. Okay, West passed, so she made no bid. Pass means no bid. Okay, my partner Tricky Bot, otherwise known as North, has bid one heart. I bid one heart <laughs> and said, hey, we're supposed to talk. Oh, I, I, I'm sorry. As said before, we're not supposed to talk during the bid. But 
if you could read my mind, Tricky Bot's mind, right now, you see that I'm pretty sure our team can make at least seven tricks. So by Tricky Bot saying one heart, we always go one plus six equals seven tricks because book plus one equals seven tricks. Uh, if the heart ends up being the suit, let's see what happens. So I'm bidding one heart, we got that. Ah, they passed. Okay, East passed. One heart is the highest bid so far. All right, you can either pass. Now it's going back to me here. I mean, it's going to me for the first time, really. South, and I, you can either pass and not bid higher. Oh, I'm sorry, let me say it again. You can either pass and not bid any higher, leaving one heart as the highest bid. Or you can bid higher if you think we can make seven tricks, or at least, you know, more than seven tricks, I should say, because our partner has already done one heart, which means they're saying seven tricks. Don't feel pressure. <sighs> I'm not pressured. To bid, you can always pass if you're not sure. Okay, so here we are, and we're looking at part, we don't, you know, again, we're not having a communication with a partner, but we know that they bid one hearts, but we got three hearts here. So my partner says they think they can get seven tricks. And I'm saying, well, you know what? I think that uh, we got some support here with these three hearts here. I'm going to go ahead and bid hearts. So I'm going to click this two of hearts. Now, this is interesting here. Again, it's like the, when we choose cards, we have to choose it twice. If I bid this, that's the bid. If I decide, you know, maybe I want to change this tap to change. Okay, what happens when I click that? Ah, I got a choice. Well, maybe I want to bid three hearts. Okay, if I tap it one more time, it's a done deal. You know what? I'm a little conservative. I'm going to go back to tap to change. And I'm going to go back to the two hearts. And now I'm going to go ahead and click this button for the second time. That is confirming. And we're confirmed. Now there's the three passes in a row. So two hearts was done. Then we saw pass, pass, pass. That's the three passes in a row. So this really is a done deal. And you're going to see all these passes disappear. And you can even see the one heart disappear. And the only thing that's going to remain is the two hearts. There were three passes in a row after the last bid. So the bidding is over. Thank you, Mr. TrickyBot. Two hearts is the highest bid of the auction. So that's the contract. Okay, we've made the contract. Two hearts. And we're on the offense. We're on the offense. Hopefully we're not offensive. <laughs> because our team bid it. We're on the offense because we bid the hearts. How many total tricks do we have to make our contract for two hearts? Okay, so we've talked about six has to be the uh the amount okay that is called book that you always have to make and then anything you bid above that means you're going to get the majority of the tricks and so we've said we're going to bid two above the minimum which would be eight but let's say i accidentally clicked the wrong number because this is a learning lesson i'm going to click nine. Oh, hey 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 try again remember we must win book six tricks plus the number in the highest bid. <laughs> so let's go back to what was supposed to be eight. There we go. See, hey, I like that intuitive. Correct. Book plus two. And two is always the what you bid. You know, it could have been three of those three hearts. Equals eight tricks. So it's actually six plus two equals eight tricks. Yay. Now let's win at least eight tricks. But always win as many tricks as possible, okay? Because we're not penalized for winning extra tricks. But we are penalized if we don't get to those eight tricks. So let's go. Since I was the first to bid, another's tricky bot was the first to bid the suit, which was the heart. Normally, I would normally play the hand and you would be the dummy silent partner okay so normally because if you start off bidding the suit that wins even though your partner might bid higher 
you started it off so you're the person that ends up being the declarer as you'll see here but let's switch seats so you can play my hand and i will be the dummy the silent partner so we're going to switch you're going to see that tricky bot's hand is going to be down here and and my hand's going to be up here there we did the old switcheroo okay and uh, yeah i had a lot of hearts one two three four five here and you will see here that two hearts is shown. All the other bids that we have have disappeared. And it's plugged up here. Look at that. We got the two of, it shows the two of hearts that that's the contract. And you see that north, of course we switched off. North is actually the, um, the offense, the declare. Uh, and they're gonna be playing, what well, I'm playing down here, playing for both our partner on ourselves. So here we go. And this is pretty cool. We're gonna get a trick off the bat here. Nice, oops. I like that where it won't let me choose another one. No, you can't choose that dude. Try, you can't do it. But we always wanna go low when we know for sure our partner has already won. So we're gonna pick that five. And here we go, great. Okay, now uh, what they have been telling us in the past, since we know these are trump cards, our objective is to get rid of our opponent's trump cards because we don't want to be trumped by one of our higher cards. Like if we played an ace or something like that and get trumped by one of their cards, that, that would hurt. So let's get rid of their trump cards. So uh, let's go with the uh, queen here, queen of hearts. And again, we're going to go low. And that gets rid of those. They still got three more here. Let's continue to go. Uh, now, I have to make a decision here. Do I want to go with seven and go here and then come back up here with apt? Uh, I am not sure what I want to do here. Oh, you know, I think I'm going to go ahead and try to come back. Let's see. We'll do it this way. I, it could have gone either way. I didn't have to contemplate so hard, but I'm going to go back up with a jack, I think, here, because I need to get rid of this last heart so we don't get trumped. A surprise trump. We don't want that. Okay. And I'm the reason I'm doing this also is I want to see if I can get rid of uh, this guy's jack and maybe even a nine. We'll see. So I'm going to go ahead and go a 10. Okay. They didn't do it. So now I get to actually go low. That's kind of nice. And got to win that. Cool. Very cool. Okay. Uh, any other little tricky things we want to do here? I don't think so. I think we're just going to continue to go on. Mm, we're going to go down here and get this one because we want to come back up. Nice, and they only have one more club left, so we're gonna play this. And we're going to take it with our ace, actually, because there's only one club left. And uh, the reason why I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna play this eight of clubs here, and it's gonna get rid of this queen because they have a king they could win with later. So I wanna go ahead and play that. And get rid of, you know, that's such a contemplation how you want to do that or not. But I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. No, no, get rid of this. I'm sorry. No, what am I going to do? Uh, oh, get rid of this. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm confusing myself. Okay, now we've, now down here it actually shows that we have already won our eight tricks. Very cool. And at that point, we're going to go ahead and play that two. Okay. And we got the extra trick. Yay. Very nice. Okay. And now we've won nine. Very nice. Now, at this point, if, if I go ahead and play like the nine, they got a queen. They'll beat this jack six. And... But they don't have any more uh, hearts, trumps. So they're going to be 
me twice probably if I do this. I'm gonna try to see if I can get them to get release one of their spades. That's my hope, I guess, is what I'm trying to do. Good, they got rid of one spade. Let's see if they get rid of another spade here. Maybe that jack? Oh, no, they wouldn't do it. Okay, I was hoping it didn't happen. Uh, and uh, they'll get the last two tricks here. But that's okay. We actually did very well. And yes, amazing, you made the contract. I love the encouragement that they give to us. And uh, it says here, contract made and lesson complete.